Hey guys, welcome back to Maggie Insights. So far, I share a tutorial on how to use other softwares to create an AI avatar and consistent character. But today, I'll be sharing how to use Canva's built-in tools to design a talking avatar. So let's jump in and get right in. All right, so we're going to start off by opening Canva. And at the top over here above the search bar, you're going to click on Canva AI. Now, this is where we'll be entering our prompt. I'm going to show you how to create a consistent character avatar as well as a 3D animation avatar. So to begin, we're going to start off with the realistic version first. So I'm just going to paste my prop. And my prop is just a basic prop consisting of the setting as well as the feature of the avatar. So I'm going to click this arrow over here to get things generated. And within minutes, it was able to generate four realistic avatars. And I'm just going to preview them. So now I'm going to show you how to turn this same prompt into 3D animation. I'm just going to insert my prompt into here. And as you can see, at the beginning of the prompt, I have a 3D animation. So that way, it's going to change this to an animation version of the avatar. And I'm just going to click on this arrow over here to get it generated. So now you see it was able to generate four avatar images of the same prompt into 3D just by adding a 3D animation over here before it. So let's just say you wanted to make a quick edit to your avatar without regenerating again. I'm going to show you how to do that by clicking on the image you want. Let's just say this one over here. In this section, you're going to type in whatever it is that you would like to add or remove. I'm just going to put have her wearing a headband. And I'm also going to hit submit. And now you'll see that it's generating this one image to add the item that you mentioned. And I'm going to preview it to see. As you can see, it added the headband just like that without having to regenerate the image. Now I'm going to show you if you wanted to change your prompt into a sketch form. I'm going to exit out of this. So at the top over here, I'm going to go back over here to insert my prompt. And at the bottom over here, you're going to click on Styles. And as you can see, Canva does offer a selection of styles that you can use to enhance your avatar. I'm going to try the sketch color over here. And I'm also going to click this arrow to submit and generate. Now I have four images of the same prompt in sketch format. And I'm going to go through them to see which one I would like to use. Just going to click. You're just going to click on it. And also click open in editor at the top. And now you're going to click share at the top right and download. And I'm also going to click download. And it'll automatically get saved to my downloads folder to access for our next step. You're going to go back to create. And you're going to want to select video landscape. And we're going to have that open up. On the left panel over here, we're going to scroll down to click on Apps. And now we're going to scroll down to look for DID-Avatar. And you can also type that in the search bar at the top if you want to. And it'll be this one over here. Canva integrates with DID AI avatars to allow you to create talking avatars. Here you're going to click See All. You can scroll down to keep viewing all avatars within Canva. And if you wanted to use any of these, you would click on Use Avatar. But since I'm going to be working with the avatar that we created, I'm just going to go back to the top and exit out of this. Cancel out that. And now I'm going to upload the image that we save over here. And I'm going to select it and click Open. Next, I'm going to insert my prompt into here. And I'm going to scroll down to see the other options. Now you have voice where you can select one of the AI voice within Canva. I'm going to click see all so we can see all the options. And you would scroll down to preview the voice that you would like to use for your avatar. And you would click use voice when ready. 
And I think I'm just going to go back to the top and go with Ashley. I'm okay, so before we generate, let's just say you wanted to use an audio or voiceover from another site or from your own recording. You would click on audio over here and you would click on choose file. And you would select the file that you would like to use and click open. But I'm just going to exit out of that and go back. And I'm going to go back to text over here. Now, once you're satisfied with everything, you can preview at the bottom before hitting generate. Once you're happy with everything, you're going to click on generate presenter. And it will automatically generate using the DID avatar app. Now, if this is your first time working with the DID avatar app within Canva, it's going to ask that you connect and sign in. This is DID, the app that allows you to create the talking avatar within Canva. You would pretty much just sign in with them. I believe for your first try, they allow you to generate just one avatar image, but of course there's a watermark on it. Having a subscription for this is not the same as having the subscription for Canva. To use this DID avatar app, you'll need to select a subscription even though it's within Canva, it's its own entity. So you would definitely go through these to see the plan that best fits and select the one that you would like. One more thing I forgot to mention, if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see these first two plans over here. If you select any of these, this is the free plan. Of course, you're limited. But if you were working with any of these two plans over here, you'll definitely have watermark on your images. Okay, so once you completed the sign-in process with the ID and generated your image into a talking avatar, your video should look like this on the canvas. And I'm going to right click on the video and I'm going to click set as background to expand it. And at the top, I'm going to show you how to save the video. On the right hand side over here, you're going to click on share. And you're also going to click on download. And we're gonna click on download again. And it'll automatically get saved to your downloads folder. And now we're gonna view the result. Want to make your designs come to life? In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a talking avatar in Canva using simple steps. You'll learn how to add voiceovers, sync mouth movements, and bring your avatar to life for YouTube videos, presentations, or social media content. I just showed you how to create an AI avatar and consistent character right in Canva. I've also linked a few tutorials where I walk you through other softwares that I use to create my avatars. Feel free to check them out and see which one works best for you. They can be found in the description below. Now, if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and also hit the bell notification so you won't miss any more tutorials. Until next time, guys, happy creating.